Hi crew, this is Lex. Welcome back. So this is the second week we're going to be building up the Jackdaw crew. Last week we looked at a general sort of what's in the box, and this week we're going to be tackling Jackdaw here. So we'll just pull him off the sprue like that. The Master, Totem, and Henchman in the box don't look like they're going to be too tricky, but the, yeah, the Guilty, they're <laughs> going to be a bit of a chore. Let's get down to business. Here we've got Jackdaw and his stack card. So if you want to find a look at this stuff, it'll be on the Malifaux app. Just pretty handy. And let's see if we can get this guy out of the sprue with magic. Whoa. There we go. Did the magic work? Yes, it did. Awesome. We'll look at this guy a little bit closer on our white background. So as a quick aside before we start the assembly, let's just talk about Jackdaw. So he showed up in the rules in Malifaux Rising Powers back in 2010. So 2010. 2011. That's the first entry in the rules we get for Jackdaw. Malfoy cards used to be folded in half and double-sided. Chunk of this was on one side of the card and chunk of that was on the back side of the card and they folded in half. It was messy. But yeah, that's the first entry in the rules for him. Then he was on the cover of Malfoy 1.5 a year later, which is really cool. Then in Malfoy 2nd edition, so Crossroads is the second book for 2nd Ed, we get Jack Dora's must for the first time. And it's also the first time we get the Jackdaw rhyme, which is interesting. So it starts Jackie, Jackie, Jackdaw. Daw, the name originates from a shortening of Jackdaw the bird. So if he's Jackdaw, he's Jack, Jackdaw. So Jackie, Jackie, Jackdaw has some tie in there. It's weird. Uh, and Jack, the name comes from Hebrew, which is God is gracious. He's got a weird name. Jack Jackdaw. God is gracious, the Jackdaw. There's also an Irish version of Daw, which I can't pronounce. It's it's large. Here we go. Here's all Jackdaw's components. So we've got the hangman's noose, left and right arms, head in a bag, little fanny pack, and the noose wraps around him so he sits in. So that's one that joins on the body here and here. Plug into these little keyed bits here. So to symbol Jack Door, we're going to be using some Tamiya cement. So use this in a well ventilated area. So we're going to start with his head there. Next, we'll focus on that noose. So as we pointed out before, we've just got those little attachment points just there and there. So we're just going to wear this like a ball dress. Beautiful Jack Door. Just down on his calf here, there's a little divot. So that divot will basically link up to this part of the noose. So you just need to wrangle that around there like that. And it will glue into place. It's a happy little jackdaw. So for a moment, let's just appreciate the love and attention that's gone into sculpting jackdaw's buttocks. Yeah, I know steam powered scoundrels haven't talked about butts in a while. They'll appreciate that butt. Uh, let's see. So it's gluing on the fanny pack that'll insert into that little hole in the back there. And it is a bit finickety. Just going to use some tweezers for that. Because it goes in a bit of a weird angle. So if you're using plastic cement, you've got some time to play around with this. If you haven't got super glue, it goes in a bit of a weird angle. There we go. And that's his torn shirt. So lastly, we've got his left and right arms. So we'll do his left arm first. So that's keyed in. So it's keyed in there to go like that. So his arm will go in there like that. But it does sort of want to fight against the noose, so you may want to play around with that. Last we've got last arm, which will tuck just in there. That arm there goes in like that. In retrospect, if I had to make Jack Dory again, I'd probably put those arms on first, let them dry, and then put the noose on afterwards. Like when I'd done some dry fits, noose first seemed like a great idea. And that's Jack Dore. All finished up. I'll be doing turnarounds at the end of the month when we've got all six minis all assembled. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, yeah, have a great week. We'll see you next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Ciao.